Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side, but his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. I'll never get used to this place. I'll never get used to this place. Come here, Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our... The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're ready. This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening, or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not... There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? is alive with pain and suffering. This must be where Molag Bar torments those who displease him. My torment! Or is your appearance here a part of it? I am neither alive nor dead. 
I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And the pain, the pain is endless. I am this plaything, and an abject lesson to others who would thwart him. My plan was flawless. My machinations were executed to perfection. I would have been a god, not for you. I, my only consolation is that you will know this pain soon enough. Arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. Bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only after all that transpired, I killed you, you simpleton. Manimark. He was a backstabbing hypocrite with delusions of godhood. The fool got precisely what he deserved. Malagbal is here. I can feel his presence, sense his foul breath upon the wind. There. That place should serve us well. Let us assemble and prepare What do you the suppose ritual. this place a was? Of some kind. The Dark Anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the Divines. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. A funny thing for a selfish man to say, isn't it? I've no idea. Speak to them. Let their... We've already been over this. You need an infusion of... The Amulet of Kings is a relic of Akatosh, the Dragon God of Time. His powers embody the qualities of perseverance and invincibility, while promoting the virtues of duty, service and obedience. Make of that what you will.
Remember Vestige. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we resist it, that we fight on and keep fighting. Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible, and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. Be strong, Vestige, and act. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion did not make me a monster. It just confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. Position yourself over there, Vestige, and brace yourself. We'll never forget you, sire, or your sacrifice. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, forgive me for my hubris. Grant your divine power to the Vestige, and restore your protection to Tamriel that my sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go! Your continued meddling has reached an end, hero of Tamriel. What is this foolishness? Has your tiny mortal mind snapped? Do you really think you can defeat me? The dark machinations of oblivion are far more complex than anything. Your mortal senses can comprehend. Your anguish will be legendary, even in oblivion.
can nothing be our own existence? Adric Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, Lord of Domination. What is this, infant? Do you think your talking can slay a god? Seeds of eternal torment. Gabriel is right, and I have all of eternity to reap its harvest.
hostage. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plane meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah, your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion, and the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. Your soul is... you have... As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever, but their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world, but your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. 
I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? get here I, I remember being overwhelmed but then I right sorry about that I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds slow Lily I I know Sai it's over it's all over well then happy endings all round smashing who's got the brandy wait where is Thorn did he survive he vanished ran off I think and he took the amulet you chaps found with it. Oh, hello there. Surprised to see me? <laughs> so am I, so am I. I do get around, don't I? I haven't the foggiest idea how I do that, quite honestly. Honor and faith to you always, my friend. My part in this is over. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us... We've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well... I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. So, this is where our roads diverge. For a time, there was much to rebuild there, and I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well... Maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. To what end? No. Let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps, once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt... I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. I would like that. It has been a singular honor vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, then. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happier. Smashy. Truly. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right 
He's still with you, you know, a part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? Still itching for more adventure? Smashing. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you?
Where is that failed sword saint now? Brooding in some sandy cave on the edges of oblivion. 